Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. Today we are going to put together a basket arrangement and it is going to include beautiful white blooms. We got an order um, from a company called the Sympathy Storm and they send us orders. Usually they're affiliated with the local funeral home and so someone will place an order through them and then they will call the local flower shop. They asked for white blooms in a basket and they had specific blooms. We do not have all of those flowers, but they did accept substitutes. So that's exactly what we're gonna use today. Um, we are starting out with a white basket. This is just a little handled white basket. I have taken some fresh floral foam. I actually cut a third of the block off and then you can see where I just kind of wedged it right down into this container. There is a plastic liner. These baskets often come with liners, which is wonderful. And so it does have a really good reservoir to hold water. I am going to start out, y'all forgive me, I am sniffing. I've had allergies today. We've been cleaning out, so we're um, really dusty. <laughs> so that's the reason I'm sniffing. Um, I'm going to start out with some leather leaf as my base for this basket. And so I'm going to move everything to the side so you can see it. All right, so we're going to use leather leaf as our foliage. So I'm going to just take the leather and I'm just going to break it into smaller pieces and push it right into that floral foam. I like to use leather leaf as my base just because it's inexpensive and I'm going to cover it up with my flowers and my greenery anyway. So that's the reason I like to use leather leaf. You can really use any type of foliage you'd like. Any type that holds up is good foliage. So use whatever you like. All right, so there is our greenery in our basket. Next, we're gonna come in with um, flowers. We will add our pretty greenery at the end. So our pretty greenery, I consider, is just different varieties of eucalyptus. So I've got some gun eye, nope. I've got parfolia eucalyptus and seeded eucalyptus as our pretty greenery. So we will use that at the end. We're gonna come in with our fresh flowers first. So I do have some white roses. Let's start with our moms though, because they're the largest. So we're gonna start with some pretty white moms. I'm gonna take my floral knife, cut that stem at an angle, and push that mom right into that floral foam. tucked into the arrangement. We do have other flowers to fill in, so don't worry, it doesn't look pretty yet. I'm gonna take my white roses. I'm gonna remove any of the petals that don't look pretty. And I am going to take a florist wire and I'm gonna wire those. I'm gonna take my wire and I'm pressing it right there into the calyx, right up underneath that rose, and I'm just twisting it right around the stem. And I'm gonna do that with each of our roses. Now we like to wire roses here just because it gives us a little extra insurance to keep that little head up. But if you don't want to wire your roses, it's absolutely up to you. last rose, pull off any of those petals that are bumped or bruised. All right, so we 
got that. I'm going to cut that stem at an angle. We're going to tuck those right into our arrangement. And I'm just kind of going all the way through. So there's our roses. Next we'll come in with some lisianthus. So white lisianthus is next. And you can see I'm really just taking these flowers and just putting them all the way through this arrangement. actually called for white lilies and white carnations. Well, the only white carnations I had were um, mini white carnations. And so I w I'm using some of those. And the only lilies I had were colored lilies. So I have some stargazer lilies and then that are um, oriental. And then I have Asiatic lilies that are orange and yellow. So, the lilies wouldn't work, and um, so it did say that I was allowed substitution, so therefore, we're just doing a pretty all-white arrangement. So, our lisianthus is in place. There's a couple of buds. Next, we're going to come in with our mini carnations. So, we have some mini white carnations. It's always very important when you're sending out an order to be able to send out substitutions um, because it is very hard when a florist doesn't have all the flowers. I mean, I, there's no way I could fill the order if I had to go and buy flowers. So I think it's so nice when, when you give us the options of substitutions just as long as the picture looks pretty close to what you had in mind. though the nice part about this company is they when they send you an order they send you the menu and tell you or a, a recipe and tell you exactly what's in the arrangement all right so there is our white basket next we're going to add a little bit of pretty eucalyptus so I've got some different varieties we have some parfolia eucalyptus Can. 
All right, and there is our all white funeral basket. Now the flowers that we used in this basket include large white mums, white lisianthus, white mini carnations, white roses, those are Playa Blanca roses, and that was it. And then we used leather leaf as our base foliage and then some seeded eucalyptus and parfolia eucalyptus. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me today. If you have any questions about how we do things here, please don't hesitate to ask. You can drop that in the comments. You can send us a message over on Facebook Messenger or just call the flower shop. We're so happy to talk to you. Um, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and do me a favor and hit that like button so more people will see us. Guys, y'all have a wonderful day. We'll see you real soon.